Hey everyone! We're excited to announce the latest features in V-Ray 7 for SketchUp. Let's dive right in and check out what's new. Starting with one of the most anticipated features, the support for Gaussian splats. One of the most impressive ways to utilize point clouds as environment and scene context. Effortlessly craft detailed scenes by importing real-world environments that seamlessly blend with your 3D creations. Easily build expansive cityscapes, utilizing the scanned data for accurate reflections, lighting, and captivating camera movements. Enhance the visual appeal of your renders with the new Gaussian Splat support, simplifying the creation of intricate scenes more than ever before. Introducing V-Ray Luminaires, a new feature that simplifies complex lighting setups and renders even faster. With V-Ray Luminaires, continue to enjoy the stunning realism of V-Ray's lighting that you're already accustomed to, and simulate it even more effortlessly and efficiently. Plus, it comes automatically with supported lights from Chaos Cosmos, providing you with a vast library of pre-configured lighting options to enhance your workflow and achieve perfect illumination in your scenes. Explore the latest enhancements in our V-Ray Sun and Sky model, now delivering unparalleled accuracy and realism for your outdoor scenes. The improved model captures the intricate nuances of natural light, significantly elevating your environmental renders with new nautical twilight support. Anticipate more breathtaking sunrises, sunsets, and deeply immersive animations achieving remarkably dynamic and lifelike lighting during those magical moments of dawn and dusk. Get ready for some exciting shading improvements. First, you can now use texture-based remapping of a gradient to procedurally colorize grayscale textures based on gradient map values, giving you precise control over your color transitions. This feature allows for more dynamic and visually appealing shading effects. Next, with textured gradients, you can connect input textures directly to the gradient points or positions for more flexibility, allowing you to create richer and more varied textures. This means you can achieve intricate details with ease. Our new layered texture feature allows you to composite multiple textures using a powerful layering system, similar to what you know from Photoshop. This flexibility enables you to build complex textures without needing multiple shaders. Finally, the falloff built-in mix curve enables you to apply a custom remap curve to the falloff transition without the hassle of creating complex shaders. This makes it easier to achieve smooth and natural transitions in your textures, enhancing the overall realism of your renders. These enhancements make your shading workflow smoother and more intuitive, giving you greater creative freedom in your projects. Let's dive into the new scatter improvements. First up, there's edge trimming. With this feature enabled, any parts of the scattered instances that extend beyond the boundaries of the base or host surface are automatically clipped away, ensuring everything stays neat and precise. Next, we have camera clipping. This feature limits the scattered instances to only what the camera can see, making your scenes more focused and efficient. By reducing the number of visible objects, you can optimize your render times and resource usage, making your workflow smoother. These scatter improvements enhance your ability to manage complex scenes, ensuring a cleaner and more efficient rendering process. Next, Cosmos Asset Variants. Now that support for variants of Chaos Cosmos assets is here, you can switch between different versions of your assets seamlessly. This provides great flexibility and control in your asset management workflow. Simply pick the perfect asset variation from the list to match the look and feel of your scene. No need to replace or re-import. And for those cases where you need even greater control, you can now assign a different material, changing the look and feel once more without any merging necessary. Discover the versatility of the new Partial Material Override functionality. Choose from a variety of stylized rendering presets for quick iterations over schematic render styles. This feature allows you to experiment with different looks effortlessly. It saves you time by providing pre-configured options that can be adjusted on the fly. Independently override refractive materials, 
giving you greater control and flexibility in how you manage transparency and light refraction in your scenes. This makes it easier to achieve the precise look you want for transparent materials without affecting the rest of the scene. Maintain essential properties like bump, refraction, and other key attributes of the original material while applying your overrides. These enhancements make it easier to achieve the perfect look for your projects while maintaining the integrity of your materials. Let's explore some of the great enhancements in the V-Ray Frame Buffer. Easily select one or multiple custom-shaped regions for re-rendering, giving you more control over specific areas of your scene without needing to re-render the entire image. This feature ensures you can fine-tune details efficiently. It's perfect for making quick adjustments and saving time on complex projects. Add a highly customizable vignette layer to your renders with ease, enhancing the overall aesthetic and focus of your images. This layer allows you to create the perfect vignette effect tailored to your needs. You can easily adjust the intensity and shape to match your artistic vision. Choose from the new color correction filters library included in V-Ray 7 to quickly enhance the visual appeal of your render. These presets provide a fast and effective way to boost the colors and overall look of your scenes. They are non-destructive, allowing you to lower their impact and revert back at any point without losing your original look and feel. Emissive materials are now seamlessly integrated into V-Ray's light mix, providing you with the ability to adjust their lighting properties even after rendering is complete. This powerful update enables you to dynamically control the intensity, color, and overall contribution of all emissive elements in your scene. Whether you're dealing with light-emitting objects or glowing surfaces, you have the flexibility to tweak their appearance in real time, ensuring your final render meets your exact vision. You can experiment with different lighting setups without the need for re-rendering, saving time, and enhancing efficiency, making your project stand out with unmatched realism. Denoising is now enabled by default in all new projects, making your renders look cleaner right from the start. This enables an automatic switch between the denoising engine used during interactive rendering and the one used for production rendering. With this setup, you can enjoy real-time feedback while working on your scene and high-quality results when you're ready to finalize your render. It's a seamless way to ensure your projects always look their best without any extra effort. This improvement simplifies your workflow and helps you achieve stunning, noise-free renders every time. Let's talk about some exciting GPU improvements in V-Ray 7. We've made numerous internal optimizations to speed up the scene preparation process. This means the time it takes to prepare your scene before the first pixel is rendered is now faster than ever, allowing you to start rendering sooner and get immediate feedback on your work. But the real showstopper is the new Caustics implementation. V-Ray 7 introduces Caustics based on photon mapping. Whether it's light refracting through water or bouncing off shiny surfaces, these improvements ensure your renders look incredibly lifelike. These highlights just scratch the surface of the fantastic new features in our latest release. We're excited for you to experience them and see the boost they bring to your workflow.